There is one thing that every parent fears. The public toddler tantrum. <laughs> hey there. Welcome to Afro Daddy. Now in my two and a half years as being a fully fledged dad, I have experienced my fair share of public tantrums. It's the worst thing. It's so embarrassing and infuriating and scary all rolled into one. And I have tried literally everything I can think of to stop them. So here's a quick list of things that definitely do not work when it comes to tantrums. Shouting louder than your kid is shouting. Just ignoring the kid. Offering him any amount of money just to keep quiet. Just giving in to every whim the child has. Trying to swap your kid out for your friend's child is just so much more well behaved at the party. I've never done that of course because I'm a good dad. Telling your child that if you don't keep quiet right now, I'm going to tell your mother. Begging and of course it's cousin pleading. I've tried all of those things except for that one in the middle and none of them work. Quite honestly, this video was supposed to be full of tips on how to stop tantrums when they're happening, but I don't have any tips to help you with that, so sorry. But I do have some great ideas on how you can manage tantrums as best as you can. One of the best things I was ever told was that your kid is like any other human being, really. If he or she's having a bad day, there's going to be irritation out there, and irritation tends to lead to tantrums. So try and manage how their day is going. So that might mean not taking them along on that four hour shopping trip or not forcing them to be in the car seat for three hours and then into a pram for another hour and then back into the car seat for another three hours. It might even mean that you have to make sure that their sugar and energy levels and liquid levels and all of those things that help keep people happy are well balanced. My wife uses the analogy of watering and fertilizing plants. You know, you have to keep the levels just right to keep them happy. The problem with that analogy, of course, is that the plants don't throw things at your head when you don't water them right. Also, the analogy really fails because we are completely unable to keep any of our plants alive. This used to be a cactus. A cactus! The last tip I have for you is a fantastic one. It has been the most useful one I have ever heard and it's worked so well in helping me help my son manage his day. You just tell him what's coming next. So here's a good example. My son loves to play in the bath and uh, if we let him, he would be in the bath just forever. So every night as bath time ended, I used to mentally prepare myself for this mass attention that I just knew was going to happen when I try to pull him out and dry him off. But then a couple of weeks ago, my wife sent this blog post to me, which I actually read for once, and it gave this great piece of advice. Tell your kid you're gonna count to 10 before changing to the next activity. I cannot remember who wrote the blog. I can't remember what the URL is, so I can't even share that with you. If you are the person who wrote it, I'm so sorry. But that is a great tip. This is what I learned. Toddlers hate change. So if you warn them that a change is coming, it helps them mentally prepare for it, which means that that tantrum might not happen. So with the example of my son in the bath, I'll say, hey, I'm gonna to count to 10, and when I get there, we're gonna get out the bath. I count to 10 very happily and cheerfully, of course, keeping it nice and light, and he got out the bath. No tantrum. It was amazing. It worked literally the first time. It's getting to a point now where he tells me that I have to count before we change anything up. So I guess my two pieces of advice for dealing with tantrums would be, one, treat your kid like a human being, surprisingly. And number two, learn to count to 10. It solves all the problems. Now these tips might not work for your kids because all kids are unique and they are very difficult in their own special way. But uh, I would love to hear what your tips and techniques are for dealing with tantrums, whether it's preventing them in the first place or stopping them while they're actually happening. Leave those in the comments below because I'm sure there are hundreds and thousands of dads around the world who could really use your help. So help them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Aphrodite out.